Selena's a guest here. I want her treated as a guest. The guests get treated a well of a lot better than the people who... The casting for the 1976 TV series Family was a careful process. Each actor was selected to bring the characters to life in a believable and relatable way. For the role of Kate Lawrence, the producers wanted someone who could portray a strong yet caring mother. They found their perfect match inside of Thompson after several auditions. James Broderick was chosen for the role of Doug Lawrence because of his ability to play a kind and understanding father. The chemistry between Thompson and Broderick was clear from the start, making them a convincing on-screen couple. For the children's roles, the team looked for young actors who could handle the emotional depth of the series. Christy McNichol, who played Buddy Lawrence, stood out during auditions with her natural acting skills and ability to connect with the audience. Gary Frank, playing Willie Lawrence, brought a sense of authenticity to the character's struggles and aspirations. Meredith Baxter, as Nancy Lawrence Maitland, displayed a great balance of independence and vulnerability, which was crucial for her character's complex relationships. The casting directors held multiple chemistry tests to ensure the actors could work well together as a family. These tests were pivotal in confirming that the actors not only fit their individual roles, but also interacted with each other in a way that felt like a real family. The final cast was a group of actors who could bring depth and warmth to their roles, making Family a memorable show that resonated with viewers. Not a celebration to me, and I can't pretend. Buddy, your father has made a huge effort and adjusted to a terrible situation. The director of the 1976 TV series Family chose a realistic approach to show the everyday life and challenges of the Lawrence family. Inspired by real-life events and emotions, the director aimed to make the story relatable. They worked closely with the actors to ensure that each character's portrayal was truthful and Hart Lieutenant, the director's style was to let the scenes unfold naturally, allowing the actors to bring their own experiences to their roles. This collaboration resulted in a show that felt genuine and was a mirror to many viewers' own family dynamics. The director also worked with the crew to create a warm and inviting atmosphere on set, which helped the actors feel comfortable and contributed to the show's authentic feel. Welcome to a journey back in time to the 1976 TV series Family. This show takes us into the lives of the Lawrence family, where each member has their own unique story. As we explore their world, we find moments that make us laugh, gasp, and even shed a tear. It's a series filled with real emotions and situations that many can relate to. Now, I'm curious, which character from Family did you connect with the most? Was it the wise father, the nurturing mother, or one of the spirited children? Each role brought something special to the show, and I'd love to know your favorite. And while we're sharing, what's your most treasured memory related to family? Did an episode touch your heart or remind you of your own family experiences? Your stories and memories are valuable, and we'd be thrilled to read them in the comments below. So, keep watching, and let's reminisce together about this memorable series. The 1976 television series Family showcased the life of the Lawrence family in Southern California. The production team faced the challenge of creating a believable family home setting. They designed sets that reflected a warm, lived-in space, mirroring a real family environment. Filming took place in various locations, including sound stages and outdoor scenes to capture the essence of the family's life. The crew often had to move equipment and set pieces, which required careful planning to ensure filming stayed on schedule. One notable technique used during production was the early adoption of Steadicam for smoother camera movements. This allowed for dynamic shots and a more intimate feel, as if the audience were part of the family's daily life. The show's production successfully combined traditional set design with emerging technologies to tell the story of the Lawrence family authentically. The television series Family, which aired in the mid-1970s, was a drama that resonated with many viewers for its portrayal of everyday life and the relatable challenges faced by a family living in Pasadena, California. The show featured a talented cast that brought to life characters who were easy to care about, dealing with issues that were a reflection of the times. 
Meredith Baxter, known for her role in the series, continued to grace the screen in Family Ties, showcasing her range as an actress. Family stood out during an era when the television landscape was shifting, offering a heartfelt narrative that contrasted with the more extravagant shows of the 1980s. It remains a memorable piece of television history, appreciated for its honest depiction of family dynamics. The music for the 1976 TV series Family was carefully crafted to support the show's stories and the feelings they aimed to convey. The composers and musicians worked closely with the producers to create melodies that would enhance the viewing experience. They used different instruments and rhythms to match the mood of each scene. For example, a soft piano piece might play during a touching moment to make it feel more emotional. The team also made sure the music was clear and easy to listen to so it would not distract from the actors' performances. This thoughtful approach to the music helped viewers feel more connected to the characters and their journeys. It's always the mothers that you wonder about. But I was happy, and the wondering just wasn't imperative. Meredith Baxter and Michael Gross, who worked together on a later television series, were born on the same day, June 21, 1947. Baxter's career is notable for her roles in several shows centered around family themes, including a series from 1976 where she played a key role. Additionally, she appeared in various other family-related shows and movies spanning from 1971 to 2011. Dana Plato, another actress, had an uncredited role in a 1978 film alongside Christy McNichol and later made guest appearances on McNichol's series from the mid-70s. The 1976 TV series Family is known for its strong storytelling and character development. The show's most memorable scenes often involve close-ups that capture the subtle emotions of the characters, allowing viewers to feel a deep connection with them. The direction is straightforward, focusing on the actors' expressions to tell the story. The performance of the cast stands out, especially in quiet moments that convey a lot of meaning without many words. The cinematography supports this by using natural lighting and simple setups that feel like a real family's home. These choices all work together to make scenes feel true to life, which has a powerful effect on the audience. The filmmakers and actors have shared that their goal was to create a show that reflects real family issues and emotions, and many viewers have found it relatable and moving. The series has been praised for its honest portrayal of family life, and these scenes are a big reason why. They show the ups and downs of being in a family, and many people see their own experiences reflected in the show. This connection is what has made Family a memorable series for so many viewers. It allows me only one. How come? Every time she comes back from that fancy... In a notable episode, a character faces a tough decision in court, reminiscent of a similar situation in another popular show. The character's firm stance on the innocence of the accused due to a lack of evidence, leads to tension among the jurors. This tension is resolved when the true offender is revealed. In real life, two actors from the show, known for their roles as sisters, shared a personal revelation about their sexuality decades after the series ended. They both had been in significant relationships before sharing this aspect of their lives with the public. Additionally, a writer for the show, credited under her married name at the time, contributed to two episodes that are central to the storyline involving the court case. The 1976 TV series Family showed the life of a middle-class family dealing with everyday issues. It was one of the first shows to talk openly about topics that were usually private, like divorce, the generation gap, and personal struggles. This show connected with many viewers because it showed real family problems and emotions on screen. It helped start conversations about these issues in real life. The characters and stories from family became well known and are still remembered today for showing that families can face tough times but still care for each other. This show had a strong effect on how TV series were made after that, with more shows telling stories about real life problems and emotions. That's beneath you. Really? In the world of television, connections between actors and their roles can often extend beyond a single show. 
This was the case for Christy McNichol and Dinah Manoff, who, after sharing the screen in an episode titled Sleeping Enemy, would later reunite as siblings in the series Empty Nest. Their chemistry was evident, leading to another successful pairing on screen. Meredith Baxter, known for her role in Family Ties, faced the challenge of balancing her career with motherhood. During the filming of the series in 1982, she took maternity leave while seven months pregnant with her twins, Peter and Molly, demonstrating a strong commitment to her work. She returned to the set just one month after giving birth, ready to continue her role. The possibility of a reunion movie for the beloved series surfaced in 1988, spearheaded by Spelling, Pressman, and their team. However, the project encountered obstacles. Meredith Baxter Burney, riding the wave of success from Family Ties, requested multiple script revisions. Ultimately, the idea was shelved, leaving fans to wonder what might have been. The 1976 television series Family was well received by both critics and audiences. It was praised for its realistic portrayal of a middle-class family dealing with everyday issues. The show was notable for its strong performances and thoughtful storytelling. Over its five-season run, Family earned critical acclaim and gathered a dedicated fan base. It received several Emmy Award nominations and won the Emmy for Outstanding Drama Series in 1977. The lead actors, Sada Thompson and James Broderick, also won Emmys for their performances. These awards were significant for everyone involved in the series. They recognized the hard work and talent of the cast and crew. Winning such prestigious awards can boost careers, open doors to new opportunities, and provide lasting recognition for the show's quality and impact on television drama. For the actors, particularly, these accolades were a mark of excellence, acknowledging their skill in bringing complex characters to life in a way that resonated with viewers and critics alike. Here you are. Oh. Here you are. Ah, uh, here I am. In the world of television, behind-the-scenes changes can be as dramatic as the stories on screen. For one popular show, the Ford Motor Company stepped in to provide vehicles, seamlessly integrating their models into the fabric of the series. Viewers were introduced to Marcy, a character brought to life by Quinn Cummings, who became a familiar face as she accompanied Buddy on her adventures. The role of Nancy saw a notable shift when Elaine Howvell decided not to continue after the initial miniseries. Jane Ackman was initially chosen for her resemblance to Howvell, but after filming just one episode, a decision from the top led to her replacement. Meredith Baxter, who was hesitant to join due to her responsibilities as a mother, was persuaded to take on the role with the assurance of a flexible schedule. This change was driven by a vision to enhance the family dynamic on the show, a move that proved successful as Baxter's portrayal of Nancy Lawrence garnered critical acclaim and two Emmy nominations. But I had to use them to help people. Because that's what gifts are for, Mrs. Lawrence. Helping people. During the filming of the 1976 TV series Family, the cast and crew faced unique challenges and shared memorable moments. The show set was known for a warm atmosphere, largely due to the strong bonds formed among the cast members. Sada Thompson, who played the mother, was particularly known for her nurturing nature, often looking after the younger actors on set. There were also lighter moments, such as impromptu birthday celebrations and practical jokes that kept everyone in good spirits despite the long hours. The production team worked closely with a shared commitment to bring the story of an American family to life with authenticity and care. This dedication often meant reshooting scenes multiple times to get them just right, reflecting the team's attention to detail and desire to create a quality show that resonated with viewers. Take this, you love presents. I love secrets. Not another time. In the landscape of television, a show about a single mother and her daughter, initially titled All About Us, was conceived by Whitney Manning's Blake, drawing from her personal journey. Despite its potential, the concept did not find a home until the mid-70s when CBS and Norman Lear brought it to life as one day at a time. Around the same time, Meredith Baxter Burney, Blake's real-life daughter, secured a role in a different, well-received series. Meredith Baxter later became known for her role as the mother in the comedy Family Ties, 
and even reprised this role in a guest appearance on Spin City. The series she was part of boasted an impressive cast, including three Oscar winners Helen Hunt, Tommy Lee Jones, and Henry Fonda and an Oscar nominee, Quinn Cummings. The show's excellence was further highlighted by multiple Emmy Awards and nominations, with Christy McNichol, Gary Frank, and Sada Thompson winning for their performances, while James Broderick and Meredith Baxter received nominations. Other notable Emmy recipients like Doris Roberts, Michael J. Fox, and Ted Danson, along with nominees such as Charlotte Ray and Linda Lavin, graced the series with their talents. This convergence of award-winning actors contributed to the show's memorable and impactful presence on television. I'm not sure I want to hear anymore. We were all very young. The 1976 television series Family is remembered for its honest portrayal of a middle-class family dealing with life's challenges. It stood out for showing real problems and emotions on screen, which influenced other shows to explore similar themes. This series paved the way for future programs to present stories that viewers could relate to, making it a significant piece in television history. It inspired other creators to craft shows that reflect the everyday lives of ordinary people, contributing to a shift in how family dynamics are depicted on television. Have you heard from him, Willie? In a twist of fate, Matthew Broderick, who could have been Alex P. Keaton, decided against moving to Los Angeles for the role in Family Ties, leading to Michael J. Fox's memorable portrayal, which earned him three Emmy Awards. Fox's career-defining role also introduced him to Tracy Pollan, his future wife. This casting decision linked two television families, as Meredith Baxter, who played opposite James Broderick in Family, would have transitioned from playing his daughter to the mother of Matthew Broderick in Family Ties. Doug Lawrence, a character from Family, was celebrated as one of television's greatest fathers. Plans for a reunion movie in 1988 were halted due to a writer's strike, and with the passing of James Broderick, the project was eventually shelved. I thought they were closets. Willie! Dana Plato showcased her acting range by portraying two distinct characters across different seasons. In one episode, she was seen as a peer of Christy McNichol's character, while in another, she took on the role of Debbie, a friend of Annie's. Meanwhile, Meredith Baxter Burney, while still part of the show, appeared in the critically acclaimed film All the President's Men. Additionally, the cast demonstrated their off-screen teamwork by winning a celebrity edition of Family Feud, securing 15,000 for cystic fibrosis research, with James Broderick, Meredith Baxter Burney, Gary Frank, Quinn Cumming, and John Rubenstein all contributing to the victory. And of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, before they became household names, a group of actors shared the screen in a popular drama series. Helen Hunt, Jenny O'Hara, Dana Plato, and Lisa Welchel all appeared on the show before their roles in Facts of Life. Similarly, Ted Wass and Diane Manoff were part of the cast and later teamed up again in Soap. The series also featured Meredith Baxter Burney and Michael J. Fox, who would later star together in Family Ties. Ted Danson and Shelley Long made appearances as well setting the stage for their future success on Cheers. James Broderick's portrayal of Doug Lawrence earned him recognition as one of the greatest TV dads, a testament to his memorable performance on the show. Stan is, she really knows how to drive. She's been driving for way over a year, ever since I got In the competitive world of television, casting decisions can lead to unexpected turns in an actor's career. Cheryl Ladd, known for her later success on Charlie's Angels, initially auditioned for the role of Nancy but wasn't selected. Instead, this audition paved the way for her future role. The character of Nancy saw a revolving door of actresses, starting with Elaine Heilvale, who left after the first season. Jane Ackman briefly stepped in, but was quickly replaced by Meredith Baxter, who remained until the series concluded. Interestingly, when a reunion was considered, Aaron Spelling reached out only to Baxter, disregarding the previous actresses. Her refusal to participate led to the cancellation of the reunion, showing the significant influence actors hold over their characters' legacies. The papers. No, 
no doubt. As a matter of fact, that's the reason I'm calling. I'd feel better if... The In the midst of its successful run, the show faced a heartbreaking moment when one of its young stars, Christy McNichol, who played Buddy Lawrence, struggled with bipolar disorder. Her condition was not widely understood at the time, and it significantly affected her life and work on the show. Despite the challenges, she continued to perform until she took a break from acting in 1992 to focus on her health. This revelation about McNichols' health struggles brought attention to mental health issues and helped increase awareness and understanding. Numbers, Letitia. Hey, kids, you want to know my real name? No, thanks. The TV series Family from 1976 holds a special place in the hearts of those who watched it. It showed the ups and downs of a family, making us laugh and cry. Many could see their own families reflected in the characters. Did this show touch your life? Did it change how you see TV shows or movies? Share your stories with us. Your thoughts are valuable and they help us all connect with the past and each other. If you like these trips down memory lane, hit like, share with friends, and subscribe for more. Your support helps us keep bringing these memories back to life.